Hey guys, and welcome back for another short flow. Today's session is a restorative session. All you're going to need is a bolster pillow or a cushion, a space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in Stasna and we'll begin. So if you come to the front of your mat, find yourself into Dasana with your feet hip distance apart. Lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly into the ground. Tuck the tailbone under. Suck the navel back towards the spine, roll the shoulders back and down, and think about lengthening through the crown of the head. Just let your arms be by your side, and whenever you're ready, just take three deep breaths all the way in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And as you inhale, think about lifting everything up. And as you exhale, let everything go. And relax. One last breath all the way in. Exhale. And then just return back to a normal breathing rhythm. From here, we're going to inhale as we reach our hands up above our heads, interlace our fingers and turn our palms up towards the top of the ceiling. From here, think about lifting and lengthening, finding that reach. And then as you exhale, we're going to reach all the way over to the left, finding that stretch in the right side body. Inhale back to center. Exhale to reach all the way over toward the right. Inhale back to center. We're going to do two more each side. Always inhaling back to center. Exhaling to fold. Last one each side. And just go as far as you feel comfortable. Inhale all the way back to center, release the hands as you exhale. From here, we're going to take the hands back behind us, interlace the fingers, pull the hands back down as you clasp the hands together, opening up the chest, opening up the front of the shoulders. And then as we exhale, we're going to hinge at the hips and come all the way down into a reverse arm stretch. Soften the knees as this is your first forward fold of the day and pull the hands away from the back. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, inhale one more time. Exhale, release the hands, but remain in your forward fold. From here, we're just going to come into ragdoll. So opposite hand to opposite elbow. And you can just think about drawing the chest further over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, and just take a moment or two. You can swing from side to side, back and forth, whatever you need to do and then release the hands to the floor. From here, we're going to go into our crouch curl position. So lift the heels as you inhale and come down into a squat, tucking the nose towards the knees into that curled up position. And then as we exhale, we're going to fold back into that forward fold. Inhale to crouch. Exhale to forward fold. So you should feel this in the backs of your legs. Inhale to crouch one last time. And then exhale to fold forwards. From here, bring your palms together, hands to heart. And we're going to take the left elbow to the left knee, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. And then as you inhale, look up over your right shoulder and take a twist. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, come back to center, release that elbow from the knee, and then we'll switch sides. So right elbow goes to inside right knee, straighten the left leg, bend at the right knee, and then inhale as you lift and twist to look over the left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor and come back to center. From here, we're going to take the right foot all the way back to the back of the mat, finding our low lunge position, dropping the knee to the floor, reaching the heart through the arms, eye gaze forwards, and finding that stretch in the left, in the right hip flexor, sorry. So just make sure in your lunges that your knee doesn't track forward of that ankle. So if you're here, just shuffle that foot forwards a little bit, reset yourself, and take two deep breaths all the way in. Exhale, see if you can sink deeper into that groin. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. 
As you inhale, this time straighten that front leg and pull the hip back to stack it over your right knee. Flex the toes back towards you. Inhale to lift, exhale as you reach your nose towards your toes, half splits. So we just take three deep breaths. Inhaling as we find that length. Exhaling maybe to fold a little bit deeper. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then as you inhale, come forwards and we're going to come into our ninja squat. So we're going to turn towards the long edge of the mat. Keeping the right leg straight, we're going to come over that left knee. So we're going to squat over our leg, over this, um, completely over the left. Try and roll the outside edge of your right foot over to the floor so your foot's completely flat on the floor and then reach with your nose towards your toes towards that right foot. You can also take your two big fingers and see if you can reach with those two big fingers as well and hook them around that toe. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, walk the hands all the way to the center of the mat now. We're coming into a wide leg forward fold. So just shuffle the feet out wide. Long edges of your feet should be against short edges of the mat. Inhale as you lift all the way up, extended to dasana, reaching up tall in this wide leg position. Exhale, release the hands, interlace the hands behind, the fingers behind you, clasp the hands together. And then as we exhale, we're gonna fold forwards into another reverse arm stretch in the wide leg forward fold position. Pull the hands away from the back. Keep pulling the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Tilt those sit bones high towards the ceiling. Sorry, crown of the head towards the floor, sit bones high towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. We're going to take the right hand, place it on the inside, of, uh, in the middle of your mat, and then inhale as we lift and twist with the left up towards the ceiling opening up towards the front of the mat. Exhale, release the hands, come back to that wide leg forward fold position. Take one last breath all the way in as you exhale, push deeper into that fold. And then inhale as you walk your hands all the way back to the front of the mat, swivel yourself around and find yourself in a high lunge position. So find your steady balance. If you need to, slightly widen your stance. And then we're going to take the arms up and back, squeezing the shoulder blades behind us, reaching back with active hands into this aeroplane arms position. Keep pressing through that front leg. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor and step back to down facing dog. As this is the first one of the day, let's spread the fingers, adjust the hands, make sure we're gripping properly into the mat. Push the head through the arms, pull those shoulders apart, find breadth across your upper back. Point your tailbone high towards the sky as you soften your knees, and then we'll slowly start to pedal out the cuffs. Stretching off the hips, the hamstrings, the ankles and the feet. And then just take half a step in for me with both feet and we're coming into twisted dog. So you're going to take left hand through to the outside of the right ankle. Look out under the right armpit. Take two deep breaths. Exhale. On the second exhale, release the hand, come back to your normal down facing dog and then we'll switch sides. So right hand goes through to the outside of the left ankle, look up under the left armpit and feel free to grab the thigh, knee or calf if you need to. Take two deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release and step your feet back to your normal down facing dog position. From here, we're going to take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank, option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale as you press up to sphinx or cobra. Sphinx is always an option if you find this is too harsh on your lower back. Wherever you might be, let's just draw a figure of eight with our hips and shoulders, opening up that front body. Think about squeezing the glutes, the inner thighs, pointing the toes, taking some of the pressure off your lower back in this position. 
as well as pulling those shoulders back and down away from the ears. From here, we're going to come back up onto our hands and knees as we exhale. Hands come under shoulders, knees come under hips, and we're just going to take a cat cow. So we're going to inhale as we dip the stomach, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale as we round through the spine, press the ground away, coming into that angry cat position. Inhale back to center, come to a neutral position and we're just going to take the left hand under the right arm, bringing the left shoulder to the floor and to thread the needle pose. So palms up towards the ceiling, look out under your right armpit. You can even walk that right hand forwards if you want to, or take the right hand up and back and maybe even try and take a bind by taking the hand behind you and seeing if you can grab a hold of your left thigh. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way back up onto your hands and knees. Just walk the hands slightly further forwards. Coming down into heart melting pose, we're going to drop the chest towards the floor, forehead or chin towards the floor, and relax down into that pose. So it's not quite as deep as puppy pose, but we're just opening up the armpits, opening up the lats, opening up the front body and the thoracic spine. Taking a couple of deep breaths in. One last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way back up onto your hands and knees. Sit back onto your heels, release your hands either side of you, palms facing up. And we're going to think about putting the crown of the head on the floor. So we're coming into rabbit pose. So you might just need to lift off your knees just slightly. Think about stretching through the back of the neck to get that crown of the head towards the floor first. And then gradually ease yourself back down so you're sitting on your heels again. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come all the way back up to a kneeling position. And we're gonna swivel around and come onto our bums now. So coming to a seated position on your mat, we're coming into half Lord of the Fishes. So we're going to take the left leg out straight and the right foot comes over the top of the left knee and places on the outside on the ground beside the uh, uh, left knee. I try and get my words out. Um, so with the left leg, you can either keep it like this or if mobility allows, you can bend at the knee. Just make sure that both sit bones are completely on the floor in this position. So adjust yourself to wherever you need to be. We're then turning the chest in towards that thigh. So hooking the left arm around the right knee. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you look over your right shoulder. You can press into the ground to pull yourself round or you could even try and take that bind if you want to. Wherever you need to be, just take three deep breaths. Opening up the hips, the shoulders, and the chest. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale and slowly unravel yourself back towards the front of the mat. Unravel your legs. Taking the left leg out long, you're going to take the sole of the right foot in towards the inner left thigh. Pull the fleshy bits out from underneath your sit bones so that you're fully connected to the floor and square the body off to that left leg. Inhale as you lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold forwards into half head to knee pose, drawing the chest over the thigh again, head towards the knee and just take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale.
and then slowly come all the way up. Take the right leg out wide now as we come into a seated wide leg forward fold. So again, just make sure you readjust and connect both sit bones to the floor. Flex the toes back towards you. Lift and lengthen through that torso, reaching up tall, reach through the crown of the head as well. And then exhale as you fold forwards, reaching for the space in front of you. Feel the stretch in your hip flexors and your groin. And take three deep breaths. Exhale completely on that third breath and then slowly come all the way back up to seated. Swivel around onto your hands and knees and we're gonna come back to that down facing dog position once more and repeat that sequence on the other side. So spreading your fingers, gripping the mat through your fingertips, pressing down through your knuckles, pull the shoulder blades apart, push the head through the arms, tailbone high towards the sky and just pedal out those legs from side to side. So you open up the calves, the hips, the hamstrings. And then when you're ready, we're going to step the right foot through into that low lunge position. So dropping the left knee toward the floor, rolling those shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms, eye gaze forwards. Three deep breaths, finding that stretch in the left hip flexor this time. Exhaling and lowering into that groin a little deeper. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then as you inhale, straighten that front leg, flex those toes back towards you. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale as you reach your nose towards your toes into half splits. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then I'm gonna swivel myself around the other way. So you guys are coming into ninja squats. So you're squatting over that right leg, left leg goes long or stays long, and you're rolling the outside edge of that foot down if you can. Reaching with your nose towards your toe and then hooking those fingers if you can around those toes to deepen the stretch. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come up into that wide leg forward position. So shuffle the feet around, long edges of your feet against short edges of the mat. Inhale as you lift and reach up high above you. Exhale, release the hands, interlace the fingers and clasp behind, behind your back. Keeping that length, we're going to exhale as we hinge forwards at the hips, coming into that reverse arm stretch forward fold, pulling the arms away from the body. Take three deep breaths. Sit bones high towards the sky. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands. Take the left hand into the center of the mat. Inhale as you lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling, opening up into revolved wide leg forward fold. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hand to the floor. Bring both hands to the floor, press into the ground as you inhale, sit bones go high. Exhale as you fold deeper. And then inhale as you come, walk your hands around to the front of the mat again, coming into that high lunge position. So finding that high lunge position, getting your steady balance, and then inhaling as you lift the hands away from the floor into aeroplane arms. So active hands, active fingertips, palms towards the ground, squeeze those shoulder blades back, hold, and then exhale as you step back to down facing dog. I'm gonna swivel back around. Find your down facing dog position and we're coming into that down, uh, twisted dog. So if you need to, you can take half a step in with your feet so that you can reach your ankles. You're going to take the left hand to the outside of the right ankle, look out under the right armpit, take a nice deep breath in. 
exhale, release that left hand to the floor and switch sides. So right hand comes outside, left ankle, look out under the left armpit, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release, and we're coming back to that vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards, high plank, option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. And then inhale as we come up to cobra or sphinx. This time we're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale, look over the left shoulder, see if you can see your right ankle. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, come back to centre and then inhale to lift and lengthen again. Exhale, look over the right shoulder, see if you can see your left ankle. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, come back to centre and push back up onto your hands and knees for thread the needle pose. So this time we're taking the right hand underneath the left arm. So we're going with the right hand through to the outside of the left, bringing the right shoulder to the floor, looking out under the left armpit. And then again, if you want to take that left hand up and back and hook it around that thigh or see if you can grab your right thigh, feel free. Take three deep breaths. You've probably got two more to go. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way back up. Taking the hands to the front of the mat again, exhale, come down into your heart melting pose. Forehead to the floor or chin to the floor, yogi's choice. Just think about bringing that chest or your heart towards the floor, opening up through the armpits just gently for a deep stretch, but not quite as deep as puppy pose. And then when you're ready, inhale to come back up onto your hands and knees. Sitting back onto your heels, release your hands either side of you. We're coming back into that rabbit's pose. So think about crown of the head towards the floor, lift slightly so that you can place it on the floor. And then exhale as you sit back into your rabbit's pose, bringing your bum down towards your heels. Take two more deep breaths. Exhale completely and then inhale as you come all the way up, swivel yourself around and we're back to that half lord of the fishes. So this time you can either take your right leg long or tuck it under, left sole of the foot comes outside of the right knee, places on the floor and if you want to swing that right leg around so that you're in that full cross-legged position, just make sure both sit bones are connected to the floor. Once you're here, think about twisting and lengthening so that your chest comes in towards that inner left thigh, hooking that right elbow around that left knee, inhaling to lift and lengthen, exhaling as you look over that left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, two more deep breaths. Exhale completely, unravel yourself, unravel your legs. Bringing the right leg long, you're going to take the left sole of the foot in towards the inner right thigh, square the body off to that right leg, pulling the fleshy bits out from underneath your sit bones so you're fully connected to the floor and flexing the toes back towards you. Inhale as you lift and lengthen, exhale as you fold forwards over that leg, bringing your chest towards your thigh, crown the head towards the knee, and just take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way up. We're back to that wide leg forward fold. So taking both legs out wide, flexing the toes back towards you, pulling the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath so you're fully connected to the floor, inhaling to lift and lengthen and then exhaling as you reach forwards into that space in front, bringing your chest towards the floor, keeping those toes flexed back towards you. Take three deep breaths.
Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, can you melt any deeper? And then inhale as you come all the way up, bringing the legs back together. We're just going to take the fingers behind us now, hands behind us, fingertips pointing away. Think about lifting and lengthening through the chest. So imagine someone's lifting you up through the heart. Look up towards the ceiling if you want or let your head completely relax back and just lift the chest so that you feel that stretch across the front of the shoulders. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then just slowly bring yourself back up to seated. Slide your bum in towards your heels. Come down onto your backs now in a supine position. Taking the hands out wide, we're going to take the palms facing down and connect the shoulders to the floor, so glue them down. From here, inhale as you lift your legs off the floor so that you're bending at the knees 90 degrees. And then as you exhale, drop the knees all the way over to the left side of the body. Inhale to lift and twist the head to look towards the right. You can let gravity do the work with the knees if they're not quite on the floor yet, or press down on the outer thigh or extend that top leg and cradle it in the opposite hand. Just take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then slowly release the hand from the foot if you're there. Inhale to lift the knees and the head back to center. Exhale as you drop the knees all the way over to the other side. Inhale to lift and twist the head to look in the opposite direction. So again, you can press down on the outer thigh, let gravity do the work, or cradle that foot in the opposite hand. And five deep breaths once more. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale completely. And then inhale as you release that hand and bring the knees and the head back to center. Hug the knees in with both arms. You can massage the lower back, rock from side to side, do whatever you need to do in this moment. And then we're just gonna gently take the hands over to the left knee. Exhale as you extend the right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull that left knee into the sternum. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. Inhale as you lift both knees back to center. Switch over the hands. Exhale as you extend the left leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull that right knee in toward the sternum. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you bring both knees back to center. Give them one last hug, rock from side to side. Massage that lower back. And then whenever you're ready, just gently roll over onto the right side of your body and come all the way up to seated. Finding yourself in the center of the mat again, we'll take one final deep inhale as we lift our hands up above the head, palms together as we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.